what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cess de Malanta, your Manila Millennial. And in today's quick video, I will be giving you a closer look at the newly released Realme C12. So this new budget smartphone is actually recommended for people who are on their phones almost 24-7 because of its mega battery. Keep watching to know more. Yes, the Realme C12 is a battery beast despite being below the 6,000 peso price point. Although it's not that different from its predecessors, this one has a nice design and a big battery which seems to be its selling point. But before we go into the specs, here's a look at the box inclusions. Similar to other Realme devices, the Realme C12 comes in a simple yellow box with the C12 print on the sides. Below, you'll find the main features of the smartphone, its color and memory. Inside, you'll be greeted with a Hey, Welcome to Realme Family note, where you can also find the SIM card tool or ejector. Upon opening that layer, you'll find the important information guide with warranty card and the quick guide. Then you'll find the Realme C12 next, and this one is in coral red color. And finally, at the bottom layer, you'll find the charger, a micro USB cable, and a 9V2A adapter. So it doesn't come with a protector and earphones, but that's okay considering its price range. The body is less susceptible to fingerprints, scratching, and sliding because of its geometric gradient design, but that doesn't mean it's entirely scratch-proof, so you'll have to take care of your phone, of course. I personally like the design of the Realme C12 because it's easy to clean, it feels clean, and it's not a fingerprint magnet compared to other phones that we've reviewed before. So this one has a nice gradient design. It reflects light as you can see in the camera. So it's very unique. I also like this color since I'm a fan of bright hues. This one is in coral red but the marine blue variant is also available here in the Philippines. It's also very light, 209 grams to be exact and it fits your palm perfectly. The Realme C12 boasts of a 6.5-inch mini drop full screen, which allows users to have less visual disturbance while playing games or watching movies. At the bottom, you'll find the speakers and audio jack, which is a plus for people who prefer wired devices, like me sometimes, and the micro USB port. Maybe part of the cons for people who prefer Type C, but do note that this one supports reverse charging. On the left side of the device, you'll find the SIM tray with space for two SIM cards and one SD card. On the right, you'll find the volume rocker and power button. And at the back, you'll find the instant fingerprint sensor and the 13 megapixel AI triple camera housed in a square module. Personally, I prefer this placement of the camera since it looks more organized compared to having a long column of lenses. And I think this look complements the geometric design, so that's a plus. For photos and videos, it has a decent camera, a 13 megapixel image sensor, a 2 megapixel black and white lens for artistic effects on portraits, and a 2 megapixel macro lens with 4 cm super close focus distance. In front, it has a 5 megapixel selfie camera, which also supports AI beautification function, portrait mode, and pano selfie. With 3GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, which is still expandable to up to 256GB, the Realme C12 is also good enough in case you need to keep a lot of files, photos, or videos in your phone. The Realme C12 is also powered by a MediaTek Helio G35 Octopher processor and it supports the Realme UI which is based on Android 10 and Color OS 7. Pretty neat but not entirely a huge upgrade from previous models. Among its features, my favorite is the personal information protection, which helps secure my data. By turning on this feature in Realme UI, you'll enable the system to provide empty information pages when apps require access to your personal info. And to top it all off, this phone has 6,000 mAh battery. It's a high-capacity battery, 
which is already good enough for almost two days without charging. It actually lasted me that long with my usual activities, which include almost an entire day of chatting online with my friends, heavy browsing through social media pages, and watching videos. The battery life can also be further optimized so you can keep your phone alive for a longer time. Overall, even though there isn't a remarkable difference between the C12 and its predecessor, at least users can now enjoy an upgraded battery life and a more artistic design. I actually like this because it stands out. This phone is already available nationwide for 5,990 pesos. That's 1,000 pesos more than the Realme C11's price. Do you think it's a buy or a buy? Let us know in the comment section below and do watch out for our full review at manilamillennial.com. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you again soon. Bye! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.